Hi guys, a really warm welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a sort out, a pack and chat, a get my life together because it is a mess at the moment. I've got stuff everywhere, like embarrassingly so, but we are heading off, as you would have seen from my recent life updates video, on a cruise and I'm just so excited because this has been on a bucket list for so long. So I thought what I would do is just sort of share a little bit of a day in the life at home with me. Um, sorting out all this rubbish it's literally everywhere because the bags haven't come down from the loft yet so that's like all the packing was all over the place in the bedrooms and it needs to go in the case but i didn't want the cases down too early and pack it and then it get all creased anyway so i'm gonna do that i need to go and get some vintage parcels i need to send back some deliveries so probably a bit of decluttering and the garden needs doing as well so outside the bushes have gone absolutely wild they're so overgrown but i'll hedge trim a battery pack it doesn't seem to charge. So I don't know if we need to invest in a new uh, hedge trim. I might ask one of the neighbors if we can borrow one of theirs, uh, but that needs sorting. The garden just needs a good old clean up because it is just a bit of a mess after all the horrible weather we've been having. It's actually beautiful sunshine today, which is really nice. Uh, but yeah, there's just loads to do at home, like tidying, organizing, decluttering, packing. I need to just sort of get my life in order. So it's gonna be a productive day in the life with me at home. Also, if you are interested, I'm gonna maybe share the things that you need to do ahead of a cruise for boarding passes and photo ID and just a few bits like that. It's not gonna to be too heavy uh, focused on that. <sighs> and I feel like if you're here with me, then I am accountable for getting it done. So thank you for being here and getting me through this. Do let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like me to show from our cruise. I'm gonna try and make it really, really, informative and helpful for anyone that's sort of maybe on the edge like maybe they don't quite know if they would want to do a cruise or even if you think that you would never want to do a cruise i want to show you why it's amazing value for money and they're great for families for solo travelers incredible for solo travelers and just a really good experience with whatever your age but anyway there's loads to do today thank you for being here grab yourself a cup of get cozy and enjoy the video Okay, so first of all, I've got to send some bits back. So I don't know how you guys feel about this trend. This is the midi, the denim midi skirt trend. Uh, I bought this in a size 10, it was massive. So I thought, unusual, not really a size eight anymore, but I'll buy it in a size eight. I got it, it's from New Look. Um, and this is a size eight and it's tiny. So I don't know why that is, neither size fits me. It's probably a sign, it's not meant to be. So back it goes. So I'm gonna send that back. That one is from Very. I did buy some nice things actually from Very. And then these I bought for Henry. I don't know why I thought these would fit him. They're nine to 10. They do not fit him. He is like 10 to 11. So they need to go back as well. Um, so I'm gonna bag those up. And then I've got some parcels waiting for me, vintage ones, so I'll show you what I got from vintage. And then this I bought because I actually, to be honest with you, don't know what the weather's going to be like. I don't know if it's going to be hot or cold. So I thought if I have a pair of, a couple of pairs of trousers, in case it's really cold in Norway, and then even maybe a nice jumper, but obviously I could wear these throughout the autumn anyway. So I did invest. I do like to have a nice jumper each season. And I don't know, I need to see whether this is going to sort of last but i thought that would go with both and as you can see here i've got loads of outfits these are i wore these last year i think this is so comfortable this is from my stitch fix box ages ago it's from cali made in guatemala and it's just so so comfortable uh this one's quite old as well from stitch fix i mean all of these are old to be fair that's a vintage purchase this one was a charity shop purchase this one, uh, this one I got in the sale actually from Monsoon. Uh, I think it was actually accessorized. I think it was like 20 pounds down from 40. And this bad boy, my flamingo dress, I bought for my 40th. But I thought actually, let's wear it on the cruise and get some extra wear from it. So that is like the only new purchase I've, in fact, I made that purchase ages ago, probably around the time I went for, to the BAFTAs. But I thought I'm gonna keep hold of it because it's really special. But yeah, everything else is all either old or from Vinted or charity shop or yeah. So that's sort of my, actually I say it's, it's not because some of that's uh, for the night time and some of it's for the day, but I'll talk more about that in a sec. 
So it's now quarter past 10. I'm actually fasting until 11.15 today, so about an hour to go. So what I might do <laughs> to keep me occupied, because I'm really hungry today, it's because I had a really massive carb-loaded dinner last night. I had a huge HelloFresh pasta dish, which was amazing, but it was filling and I feel like if I have pasta or something that's quite carb heavy before as like my last meal I'm always really hungry the next day whereas if you have high protein high good fats then I'm not as hungry so that's a little tip if you do want to not feel so hungry the next day so I'm basically trying to drink as much water I've lost my water bottle which that's why I haven't drunk enough today because I don't know where it is I think it's in the office uh, but that always keeps me really hydrated also, um, there's some bits that I bought recently which I sort of was influenced into buying, but this sun cream, I'll link it for you, it's on a really good offer at the moment on Amazon and it's meant to be amazing, it's a dermatologist, it's a brand that was invented, I don't know the facts, but I think it was around sort of albino children and it was to basically protect them fully, so yeah, I bought this and I bought, this, I thought it was a single pack but two arrived, so I don't know what that's about, so that's going to come with us, it's not a face one though, I'll show you my face one in a minute, uh, but I actually started on my Christmas list last night, there's not really much that I want, but there's some things that have really brought me joy and it's like something that I bought that I actually was going to gift to somebody and I didn't in the end, and I had it in my, ward in my drawers and I just thought, I'm going to have this myself, a gift to me. I bought it at Christmas, so it's a quite old now, but I took it to Spain, and it's just, I'll show you in a sec. I just, it brings me so much joy, so I thought, why don't I get Stuart to put it, like, I'll put it on my Christmas list. It's not expensive, it's just literally, I'll show you. It is this, which is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream brand, so Sol de Janeiro. I've got that, and the little face wash, um, body wash, and then this little spray, so as you can see, I've used that. And it's actually, they have an original scent, which is like a yellow, orangey packaging. But I got this, and I love it so much. It reminds me of holidays. And then I wouldn't normally have like a little um, shower gel like that. But yeah, this one is really nice. And then the cream as well, and it's perfect for holidays. So I might put that on my Christmas list. Also, guys, oh my goodness, let me just tell you. Remember this from a Home Bargains haul? It is true what they say, buy cheap, buy twice. It's terrible. It stinks of like metal. It's definitely not any kind of precious gemstone. It's just horrible. So I'm gonna put a rose quartz one on my Christmas list. I know it's only August, but we're thinking ahead. And just things that like as time goes on, I think yeah, I would really love that. So I'm gonna put this on because I mean, it's only like 20 pounds for the set, but for me it was such a treat to use it because I wouldn't normally use that sort of stuff. But I'm doing it, I'm doing it guys. So in my wardrobe, oh, to be honest with you, it's been such rubbish weather. I've actually been wearing a lot of like my autumn stuff. But I'm just gonna do like a final sort through of this, make sure that what I've got out is what I wanna take to Norway. I might take this suit, this was a vintage purchase, but I might also take this one because we're doing an afternoon tea and I feel like this with a matching blazer would like look quite cute. So yeah, I'm gonna take that, but I'm gonna have a little sort through here, make sure I've got everything I need. We sorted out the airing cupboard. You know, I was gonna declutter the airing cupboard, but we had a plumber come because we needed something fixed on the boiler. There was no um, extraction pipe or something or the extraction pipe for if the boiler overheats, it has to expel hot water wasn't attached to anything, which is really dangerous, because obviously if it done that, it would have, boiling water would have been coming through the ceiling. So the plumber came to do that, which was an unexpected cost, but I got my emergency fund. Oh my gosh, and another thing, my car failed the MOT and it needed like 500 and something pounds worth of work, plus the MOT, and what, did I get a service as well? It was like 750 pounds. Thank goodness for the emergency fund, because that would have, made me completely like not be able to afford things so yes the emergency funded that so now I need to build that back up but that's why it's so important to have one because anything like this can come up and you're not expecting it and then you have to get into debt to pay it so really really important I know you not everyone can have it straight away but it's something that you build up over time and I've been building it for ages and thank goodness I had it basically um but yeah that Basically, the reason that's all up there is because it's come out of the airing cupboard and that actually, we just changed George's, changed George's room around and that was his old upper bunk duvet. So we've taken the top bunk off. I love it in there now. It's so spacious, so airy, so bright. And he can sit up in bed, which is really nice because he was, yeah, he was feeling a little bit 
constricted, I guess. Um, anyway, let's go. The sun is shining. I'm going to get out there. I'm going to post my very stuff and pick up my vintage parcels and then it will almost be time to eat when I get back. I also have some vintage parcels to send because I've just been listing some things and I've made £60 in the last two days, which is brilliant. That will go towards our holiday. Uh, so I need to send those out as well. So let's pack those up and then I can do it all in one go. And I've got a list on my in the description of all the things that I use when I'm shipping with Vinted, so that will be there if you need it. These are really good, they're really big actually, and I've listed a small set as well, but these just make sure it doesn't get too crumpled up and it's always got sort of enough space. So I have one of these shipping bags, and often I will reuse ones as well, so if I get sent anything, I will turn it inside out and I will use that. And then I tend to wrap them in a bit of tissue, absolutely not necessary, but I just think it looks nicer. So I use some tissue, whatever I've got sort of in the cupboard. And then a little note just to say thank you for ordering with me. And then my sanitate dispenser, which is really handy. Good for wrapping prezzies as well. Um, yeah, so let's get that all posted out. overgrown bush it's absolutely ginormous like so much bigger than it should be so yeah she's gonna get that done in his lunch break i've got to take these weeds out because they're going wild oh this one as well it needs to come out couldn't get it out last time so now it's bigger i hope you should get a bit bigger grasp on it and then um yeah this mess that we still haven't worked out a plan for but the bees are loving the lavender which is good and then hello, hi, I'm a vegetable grower now. These are my veggies. The tomatoes are almost ready. I've got these big um, peppers here and two peppers here. Oh, I need some help on this though, guys. What is happening here? So we've got this one. I've actually just moved it, so it's not usually laying on the floor. But I wanted to ask you, what the heck is happening here? It's like they're being eaten or something. That they're all like curling up. I don't really understand what's happening there. But anyway, at least my pepper's looking good. They need a feed today, actually, so I'll do that in a minute. Wow, it's warm out there. Right, I've just got back from the courier place. I find Vinted really difficult to track, like, what's been sent when you, do when you buy a couple of things in the row, sort of thing. So I've done a fair amount for the holiday. And... He only had one parcel there, but I'm sure I've ordered loads. And actually, the other day, I had a message to say my parcel being <laughs> windswept. Uh, my parcel being delivered, and it was not. There was no one there. There was no one on the doorbell camera. There was no parcel there. So I don't know what's happened to that, and I don't know which one it is, because you can't track it on Vinted. It's so annoying. But I just thought I'd show you. I've got this, which has just arrived. Nicely packaged, all nicely folded. And I've got this, so heavy, which is literally like a ball. It is so heavy. And that was quite an expensive, well, very expensive item for me. I'd never normally pay that much. Um, but it's just like being thrown in a bag and all messed up. So anything goes on Vinted. Uh, not everyone packs as nicely as I do. Tea towels as always. <laughs> the onions that we get in our Hello Fresh that I never eat. I give them to my neighbour. Right, so this is a shirt I got for Henry, which was £4. Oh, it's got the label on it. It's brand new. A Farrow one. So that is to go with one of his other little suit sets, which hasn't arrived yet. I don't know where it is. This is what I mean. I'm worried I've missed a delivery or... Oh, I really hope we don't miss that. Anyway, so yeah, this lovely little purchase for Henry. And what I'm going to do is eat because I'm so hungry. And then I'll show you my over, like, the budget. Never bought anything so much on Vinted, but it looks so beautiful. And it was, like, £400 on the website. And it's for Celebration Night, which is the black tie event on p and Cruises. They do it once a week. And it's just, everyone looks amazing and it's so nice to look at everybody. Uh, but anyway, let's eat. Running from all things at once Without 
thinking twice And I knew it would catch up And that we would be the ones left behind The stories I've been told They never seem to lead my mind Ooh, And this road that I am on Gotta stay here for I can't actually see you. I'm gonna treat myself to sitting in the garden and eating this delicious meal. This is so nice to have fresh fruit in the house. Um, and then some granola, protein granola, kefir yogurt, and raspberries and strawberries. Yum. That was delicious. Right, I'm gonna open this with you guys so you can see what it is. Um, I mean, I don't even know what, what my bag this is that she's used. It's so heavy. It's got tape all around it, so to try and get into it, it's gonna be a bit tricky without, like, I don't wanna obviously damage the dress. I've just checked as well, because I, did I say this? Um, I'm actually doing a vintage video at the same time as this, so basically showing you how vintage works, shipping on vintage, how much I've sold on vintage, how to post things and how to list things and stuff like that. So I did a video about two years ago and it's had quite a few views. So I thought I'd do an updated one because things have changed. Oh gosh, it's wet here. Hold on. We can't have this dress coming into the world, being birthed into my life with a wet side. Here we go. Okay, you can see the chills on it. I did actually get her to drop the price on this because I said, you know, it's a big risk. It's an expensive purchase. It's a big risk if it doesn't fit me. So yeah. Also vintage, like depends what time of year. If you're selling stuff, like black tie stuff in the summer, it may not sell as quickly. And equally if you're selling summer stuff in the winter, obviously, it's not gonna sell as quick. This is so crazy the way she's packaged this. Like you just think, you know, I do it with like tissue paper and a nice note, and especially when it's an expensive item. Anyway, here we go. Each to our own. She did send it really quickly for me though, because I said to her, I'm so sorry, but I need it for the weekend. I'm gonna do it quickly. You know the quality of something when it is so heavy. There we go, right. Okay, I'll probably go up and try this on as well. So this is Karen Millen. I don't think I've ever owned anything from Karen Millen. Oh, it's all very tangled because of all the beads. I'm so happy. This is going to weigh so much in my case. Look at it. Okay, let's go and try this on. This is, oh, I can't actually tell you how heavy this is because all of that, like, can you see? Can you see all the beads? is the ironing pile, which I didn't show you earlier. This one I actually did buy for Spain. That was in the sale at H&M, and it's so creased, but it looks really nice on. And then I'm gonna take some white jeans, which I'll probably wear with like a Breton top. And then I've got this. Oh, oh dear, that's damaged. I just bought this from Very, so though it's so versatile. I don't know what to do about that, because I've just sent my parcel back, haven't I? Actually, you probably can't see it if you turn it around. I could maybe put a stitch in that. And then this one, which I bought, hmm, I want to say I got that for a job we were filming for Tui, which was at the beginning of the spring. So yeah, got a few bits here to iron. Got the ironing board set up here because Stu's been ironing for days. <laughs> he's so good at ironing. I am not. It's not one of my skill sets. Um, but yeah, he's got all of his iron stuff here. And then we'll need to start the boys' stuff as well. We actually just bought them. So we were doing the school top-up shop. Because I don't know about if you've got children, but oh my goodness, these get so dirty. And what I said is let's buy them now. And then they can wear them underneath their little shirts that they have. Just as like an open shirt. So two pack for three and then Henry's was a two pack for four pounds. So yeah, we got those and then we picked up. This is an Asda as well. Although Sainsbury's will be having a 25% off soon, but I'm gonna check actually, I'm gonna do a little price check, which one's better price. Just gonna tidy up my mess from earlier. Um, hello, bonus strawberries. I didn't know they were on the back of the knife. Mm. Strawberries at the moment in the UK are so good. So juicy, so fresh. Because obviously they're not being flown in from anywhere. Um, this is what I'm gonna do for my strawberries and raspberries, just to keep them lasting longer. A little frugal hack for you. You may want to know. 
but basically they last so much longer in jars in glass jars and with some tissue paper as well anything like this in this packet i don't want to like get the tissue out this packet it just goes so soggy and moldy and it, it just breeds mold so yeah we're going to use these glass ones from studio give them a little dry on the inside and then we can just put our strawberries and raspberries in and then yeah they'll last so much longer because obviously fruit is so expensive so you don't want it to go bad and you also want to sort of obviously eke it out as long as possible just literally like that pop them in pop the lid on airtight and then put it in the fridge do the same with straws what do you prefer strawberries or raspberries i'm gonna go with strawberries i think i think just yeah that breakfast was so good so it's now 12 and i've got leftovers for dinner for lunch sorry which is that pasta meal which is actually so good really basic but it was just so delicious i think it was something to do with the pasta i think it was like fresh pasta they sent so nice um and then dinner will be another one of the meals so yeah that'll keep them nice and fresh for ages these are aldi and i have to say the aldi veg and fruit i've seen it quite a lot recently online people say it's just not lasting very much anymore which is not good at all obviously we're trying to save money where we can oh gosh there's a few too many i might have to have a couple let's take two out we can eat those for a snack not very much snack obviously but there we go right there we go that will last so much longer now i'm gonna put this in the fridge and then i'm gonna go and try the dress on i think i found it i think i have found it let me show you in the mirror it's so swishy and different like it's so different to anything I've ever worn before. Let me show you in the mirror. If I can just do a little swishy swish for you, you can see like the movement of it. Excuse my clothes hanging up. Um, the boys are all in light gray and blue. Stu is in dark blue and I am in blue and silver, which is just gonna look beautiful together. But can I just say it's so, so hot because it's so heavy i mean it's hot in here and the good thing with the cruise is obviously you're indoors so it's all air conned um but it's just so wishy and it's not for everyone i know i appreciate that but um and i can't actually do it up at the back that's the back and yes so this dress was 349 pounds that's crazy. That is on the Karen, Karen Menon website. It's still on there now. And I got it for, it was on for seven, it was on for 80. No, it was on for 70. And I said to her, would you accept 50? Because I don't know if it's gonna fit. It's a bit of a risk, you know, to buy something that expensive. She declined that and then accepted 60, where well, she offered 60. So I was like, that's amazing. I wouldn't, you know, I know it's worth that, so. And I'll resell this. I will literally wear this probably this once, maybe to um, an event this year if I get invited to any awards events. And then I'll sell it. Or maybe actually I could keep it if I go to any like BAFTAs or NTA stuff. Um, if I'm lucky enough to get invited. And then I can sell it and then make my money back. And obviously I've already made what I paid for this. I've made this week in Vincent Sales anyway. So it's paid for itself. I made the mistake of sitting down after I tried that dress on because I thought this dress was a deserves a reel so i put that on my instagram um i haven't really got very far with the packing as such I've got the case out as you saw um and yeah i need to go back to the post office because i've got three parcels arrived which is the things i've been waiting for so that's a bit annoying because i was just there but that's fine i get the steps in um so let's do let me show you actually a couple of things that i've bought for this trip so things like this pens we got from the works for george and henry to have like at dinner time so they can do drawing and coloring as well as their coloring pencils i got quirkle which is a sort of like tetris domino sort of game it's really really good and this is the travel edition so that's good for having at dinner just to sort of like keep them entertained um and then I may well remember that we do busy bags but because they've got older now 
and we're not flying which is really good so if you go from Southampton for a cruise you don't have to fly which is I think I said that when I was talking about the weight limit which is amazing you literally drive it's like 40 minutes from us we drive there drop the car walk to the the uh is it a ferry terminal or cruise cruise terminal and then you on you board the ship so I'm gonna show you in my uh cruise vlogs like how that process works um so it's amazing no waiting around at the airport and no delays like that oh just it's so so um conscious i've got all my stuff hanging up uh it's really seamless anyway so we bought these for the children so this is for just sort of days some bit of time out and maybe i'm editing so obviously i'm working this whole trip so i'm going to be doing lots of editing and in fact maybe i should show you the extent of what i have to pack but yeah i've not seen these books before this one is from bunny versus monkey the back one that's henry and the front one is from the I don't know who's written that one. It's a British Museum one. He saw it in Waterstones and wanted it. So we actually got that one for him. So yeah, they can take those. Limp roller because obviously we need to keep our clothes all um, hair free and fluff free. Uh, and then I bought myself some new shoes, which are like the sort of Birkenstock style, but they're so comfortable. They're from Amazon, really inexpensive. And I just feel like they will go with so many of my daytime outfits. So yeah, they are going, they're coming with me. I'll probably take a pair of trainers for any sort of hiking that we're gonna do. And then some heels as well, and maybe another pair of like flip flops. I'll probably wear these ones because you can wear those in the water. So if we get into the fjord at all, I'll take those. I showed you obviously that one earlier. I've got the same for my makeup. And these are just really good. I feel like, I, cause you can see through them. So I can see everything, which is nice. So I've got two of those. These are from Amazon as a double pack. I think they're like seven pounds, so that's good value. I need to decant some of this because that's obviously huge to take. So I need to decant that into that bottle. Stu and I were just saying to each other, do we need bug spray? Because obviously you're not, it's not outside, you're inside a lot. So I might take one of those for daytimes if it's, I don't know if there'll be bugs there on the fjords. And then handbags. I might take this one, you know, this is the Primark number and I feel like it goes with a lot of things. And I also have, I need to find one that goes with my new dress that I've just bought. But I also had a fluffy one somewhere, I need to find that. This one's quite a good one actually because it holds loads. And obviously I'm conscious I'm going to have to take my camera every night out with us, as well as daytime stuff. I might need to take more of a backpack daytime, that's Primark as well, because I'm going to have so much camera stuff to pack and to take out every day. I also just bought this new tripod. Oh, you are not focused. Which is really good, even if you're not into, like, you know, don't do what I'm doing as a job. This is a tripod and it also, so it goes all sorts, also has a remote. Oh, I've put that in backwards. So, hold on, I can, I've only just got this, so I'm not sure how it works. Basically it's, you can put it down on the ground, it's really sturdy. It has a remote, so you can Bluetooth, whoa, you Bluetooth taking a picture, so if you want, if you don't want it to be like a uh, timer, if you haven't got, if you don't think you'll be able to set up in time, you can literally just connect it to your phone. So that's really cool. And then it's so high, I don't know if I'll be able to show you on this, hold on, it's, it's an extender and it goes so high, so you can like put it down and then have, like say you wanna get a picture, put it down, go off, get your picture, and all done so quickly. And what I love is that it folds down so small, so like that, and you can po probably put that in your bag. So I'll link, everything I've spoken about, I'll link below for you, but I think that's a really good tool, even if you are not, if you just wanna take some nice family pictures, you know, because it's hard sometimes if you're traveling and you haven't got anyone to take pictures or like you're never in it. So yeah, I've got that. I mean, I, I have so much to pack. I've got to pack the GoPro. I've got to pack the GoPro helmet mount, chest mount, tripod. I've probably taken another, as you know, I won't take another, I usually take a little mini desk tripod so I can, when I'm doing my makeup or something, I can chat. Um, I've got to take all the chargers, my main camera, um, a couple of new lenses, not new, but like different lenses for this. Uh, obviously phones. Um, I don't think I'll take the drone because I, I don't know if the drone is allowed there, so I won't use that. There's a lot. So what I need to work out is what bag I want to take, daytime bag, for this, um, so that I can have all this kit. Obviously this is like for phones. Um, 
and then the GoPro. Oh, and my, my gimbal as well for my camera. So yeah, lots to take, lots to pack, but there's no weight limit. Oh, it's dark, oh, it's dark in here. Stu's just going up to the loft to get the suitcases for us so that we can start actually putting stuff away. I've also got out, I think this is one that the boys are gonna take. They never normally take such a big case because they don't really need much, but because it's a cruise, we have sort of evening outfits and then daytime outfits as well. And also, we don't know whether it's gonna be hot or cold, so we will need some extra layers and things like that. So I've got that, and then I've got my trusty, my battery ran out, but what I was trying to say is I've got my backpack. So I've got all of this down now. Um, this is my ginormous one which I did take to the Caribbean, um, but there's no luggage limit on p and cruises if you're going to Southampton. So we're, we're going from Southampton, we have like the first day of getting to Norway. You can obviously fly, but there's no luggage limit, which is amazing because you get to take so much. But the limit is that you have to have no pieces over 23 kilos, I think, obviously, because they're loading it in and out. So yes, we've got these ones for the children. Actually, it's the same size as Stuart's, which is this one. And then my bad boy, which is absolutely ginormous. Uh, so George's, and then we'll have that as an extra if we need it, but I don't know if we'll have space in the car. So what we need to do is see if it's actually gonna fit in the car. Um, so yeah, anyway, that means we can pack, we can get sorted and the house can be a bit more decluttered because it's just stuff everywhere. This one's just arrived. This was like six pounds. It looks brand new. And I thought this would be really good basically to wear like this. It's a little bit tight there. I would, I would prefer it to be baggier there. But that's fine. They were on sports shops websites for like 50 quid, so I'm really happy with that. I really love the colour. <sighs> All I need now is Vinted to work with me because honestly, I cannot rave about them enough. I love them. I actually basically buy 60% of my wardrobe from Vinted. Oh, uh, so please work with me, Vinted. Come say hi. <laughs> but no, I love this. So these are my packing cubes, you would have seen them before, and if you don't know, then they have got, I've got some, two different types, and I want to show you this one, because this is the compression one, and I have shared this before, but they are so good, they basically, you put your clothes in, and then you can sort of double up, you see the double zip, so it compresses it right down, so you can fit, especially for cabin bags and stuff like that, so that's really good, so I'll be using these, I could do with another set really someone is drilling right outside the house so sorry if you can hear that i also need to pack things like this so this is really good for battery so i have the iphone 14 and i went for the non-pro version this time i got it last year because it was so heavy it was actually giving me like rsi on my wrist so i got the smaller version not the non-pro the non-max but the battery is terrible so this is really good it literally holds one full charge and uh, it has like information on there as well so you can see how much charge is left and you just sort of i mean i'm charging it now i've only it's only like half past one so yeah you put it on in and then it just fully charges your phone so you need to pack stuff like that so that's really good if you're going out for long days or events or traveling or anything like that so um a couple of other things i need to talk to you about this is a book i'm taking wish you were here never read anything like this like in years so that will be interesting let me know your book recommendations below as well and what i need to do now is book the parking for our cruise terminal parking so there's some that are nearby and you um it's either meet and greet like at the airport they meet you and they take your car off and park it or they is there's one closer so i need to book that we also have gone into this is like if you are booking a cruise it just gives you some information and if you don't want to hear this, just skip forward a few minutes. So we've booked the Lowen Skylift and Strin, the helicopter flight seeing, which is just me because it's it because we're working with Piano Cruises, they have kind of gifted us some of the excursions. But I knew that that was obviously a really expensive one, but I thought it'd be amazing in footage. In fact, I won't need a drone because I will literally be above the fjord. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, so I didn't obviously book everybody on track. That'll be amazing. Stu's also doing white water rafting with Liam, who is Louise's partner. So I'm sure you know Louise. We're going with them as a family and I cannot wait. Just, it's like going away with a friend and oh, it's just amazing. So we've booked those ones and then a long Langfoss waterfall. So we've got those, and also it's really easy to book your hotel, uh, your restaurant reservations in the My p and Cruises app or website. So we've got that. Some stuff you can't do until you get on board, but I need to book now the parking, 
and also what you need to do before ahead of it you need to do an online check-in where you same as with a flight you check in and make sure everyone like all the personal details are right and then we need to print off our boarding passes which we give when we embark and then also a little photo so it's all done online so you can just put a little photo onto your pass and I've got that um one that you have around your neck the lanyard that's stretchy which is a really really good one in fact I'm going to do a reel of all the things that make cruising easier like the things to take like these pegs that you put on the back of your towel when you're on the deck because it's windy it can be windy and you don't want your towel to fly off things like that uh and yeah so I need to print those boarding passes off and I think they go on the cases so you can get case labels where you put your boarding pass on or you put your um, name on so they know which cabin to take it to and what I love about cruising is it's all done for you it's so good you basically get there and obviously if you're flying you get to the airport you do your baggage like you would do normally at check-in and then you don't see it and then the next thing is in your cabin ready for you so it's brilliant and it's sort of hands-free great with kids as well so those are some of the things I need to do now uh, but for now I'm going to go and get my things from the post office and then I'm going to eat so I'm going to come back and do that but it's I just imported this footage to look at it it was 40 minutes long so I think I'm going to leave this video here I really hope it was enjoyable hanging out with me getting some bits done sorting my life out thank you for being here I would not have done all this without you it's like an Oscar speech I couldn't have made this without you but yes it's been really great hanging out and the weather is so beautiful and I got my dress and I'm so happy and yeah obviously this whole uh next week is going to be working for me but it's a joy an absolute privilege to call this my job and create some really lovely content for Pinot Cruises and hopefully help you guys if you are looking for a cruise to show you exactly what they're like what you can do on them what what's what they're great for what is in, included in the money because I do think they are such incredible value for money everything's paid for once you get on so that's really good but yes watch out for those videos I've got Caribbean cruise vlogs as well if you want to see those videos that was slightly different because it was a press trip so it wasn't me booking things and me organizing things and me showing you how to do it so but it was beautiful caribbean is amazing i'd love to go back there soon so anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye by the way when you watch this i'll be in the norwegian fjords <laughs>